hey guys welcome to forex family empire we're back again with another video it's your boy case malls before i start guys i just want to say thank you for 736 subscribers uh keep keep them coming keep them coming guys yeah guys so it's that time of the month nfp time uh let, let's go and see so this is tomorrow we're going to be trading nfp i see there's also going to be employment change for the cat i'll also analyze you for the cat news guys uh let's get right into it without wasting any more time as you all know guys i always go with USDT and Nasdaq so today I'll just put in some uh, cat JPY pairs uh, just for the bonus there so yeah guys uh, let's see what we're going to be seeing uh, during uh, the trading of NFP today uh, while we edit don't forget to like subscribe and uh, share guys uh, so that you can also uh, receive more content with me so yeah let's see starting with me i always go with the higher time frame and then go lower with the smaller time frame and see what do i see on the market so basically on the day i'll start it with the daily time frame because we're basically analyzing this thing for nfp tomorrow so my uh, highest um, point is there the lowest point is here so the reason why i'm doing this as you all know guys is to specify the zones where the market has been giving us a big movement you see the market came here and touched this point gave us a big movement came back here touched this point gave us a big movement there was some uh, some sort of a supply zone here we got a big movement going down there so as you can see right now they broke it so let's go and analyze and specify a big movement that we got guys for so from here got a big movement going up i'll also specify this one here i think uh, we just want to specify the ones that are made basically closer to us guys so i'm just going to also specify this one we got a big movement from here uh what else what else what else where else can we do the big movement just the bonus here on the d1 so i think that's it so yeah these are all the lines that we're we are drawing we got big movements everywhere so basically when the market touches these lines they will reverse or basically break it and then you get your own entry all right guys so after here what we do we go to h4 so under h4 what do we see guys so on h4 what do we see so we saw uh the line that we draw there was broken down was broken out as we see before the market broke down it gave us a reversal basically here so it went up gave us a reversal i saw some uh, here uh, when i'm looking at it i saw something like this this was basically a very very nice trade if you look at it because there was a line here it came and touched this line reverse Yo, it was a nice trade i couldn't catch it guys so i'm just going to delete this for now uh, and then what can I see when it goes to when I go to four hour chart what I can do is to just uh, draw my my trend lines I just want to see if uh, my trend lines are good so I'll draw the trend line from here and also put it on top and see if everything will be good so we're seeing the trend line on h4 we're seeing the trend line this is a rising wedge so a rising wedge basically gave us a, it's giving us a, a a bearish it's a bearish trend guys so a rising wedge is basically giving us a bearish trade so all we need to do is wait for a breakout before we, we start selling because right now what i'm seeing is that uh, this zone here was very important so this zone was very important as you can see the market broke it came back and retested it now it's going so right now it broke this one so we can see it maybe when we go to the lower time frame i think this is too thick let me just take it a little bit uh smaller so yeah so as we can see the market let's just go um to the smallest time frame i know on d1 guys we have this big um trend line that we once through that goes like this the market broke it as you can see it broke it retested it on top of that line that we drew went up so right now we are on top of this one we already broke it so maybe i didn't want to just put it because it was an old trend that was broken so it, i think it was last month trend so let's go to h4 h1 so in h1 we saw the market has pumped yesterday so we saw a good pump yesterday i don't know what caused this pump but yeah it was a major pump 
so end at the moment we haven't seen any um retest from this zone here after this pump that we have so as we can see we had like three bars h1 bars going up but without any retest here so for now i'm expecting the market to do something like this come back and retest this zone here and then go up so from here we're gonna see something like this so this is what i'm expecting here at the moment for when it comes to us 30 I'm expecting something like this so the market should come back here retest this zone continue going up but um, when we're looking at the news uh, a lot of stuff a lot of people have been looking at them they say when we're looking at the news if you click on non farm pain roll if the actual is more than the previous it's going to be a buy but right now the previous is less than the actual i mean the previous is more than the actual so meaning they're expecting a sell but i'm looking at the forecast so the forecast is basically less than the actual so i don't do i don't do it like this i always want to um, analyze the chat and see price action pure price action so my pure price action is basically telling me that uh, this is what we're going to be seeing so today maybe we will be looking at something like here and then go up so this is our selling zone here so once we see this box let me draw this box guys for you guys so here is going to, is going to be our selling zone even if um nfp comes and we are somewhere here just know that you have to sell but sometimes nfp do um uh, two direction you might find it spikes up come back and try to retest here and then it will start continuing going down don't forget we're going to be having cpi as well so this analysis is also going to work uh when we are going to trade cpi guys so yeah this is what i'm seeing let's go to the lower time frame and try to break it down even more further and see what we're going to be seeing i'm going to do this i'm going to do this here all right so yeah we're seeing the market it broke this one came back retested and then right now we're busy it was busy playing around this zone now it broke out this one we are expecting it to come and retest and then continue going up so this is basically look for your buys here if you want to buy at the moment and then go with it to the top and then nfp tomorrow if the market is here we want to start selling going down with it but yeah i think i'm gonna trade live with you guys if you give me at least 50 likes on this video <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be go i'll go live and trade with you and you're gonna see the direction that i'll be taking during the nfp live uh trading because uh, the chart can change but i'll keep i'll keep on updating you if the chart changes uh too much guys so but at, at the moment this is what i see retest continue going up 15 minutes charge as well i think let's leave it like this it's still fresh doesn't have any any it doesn't have anything that is confusing us at the moment guys as you can see we're looking at this one last thing that i can uh, specify here if we're seeing this market coming here they break down and start playing below this line we know that okay the market wants to break to the lower side basically so we will be uh trying to sell even more further so once we play below this we, we know that we're going to be selling hard going forward but right now we are in a bullish momentum so this is a bullish trend as you can see is a rising wedge once the rising wedge is broken out we know that uh, the the trend has changed all we do is going to be looking for buying opportunities within that trend as you can see this one the buying opportunities was here as i told you guys that the market moves with the structure they always consolidate consolidate i'm not gonna draw them nicely but yeah you know you know what i when i say it consolidate consolidate breaks out if it's an if it's a upward trend the market always consolidate the market consolidate and then breaks out consolidate breaks out consolidate breaks out so that's basically what's happening so let's leave it like that and go back to the cad news i think oh, we're gonna have the same thing on half pass half past three so the cad basically 
it's going to be employment change for cat uh, pets. So let's see what it says. It says the actual is basically uh, above the previous, guys. So as you can see, also the focus is less than the previous. So here I'm expecting all the cat pets to go down. So we're going to be selling all the cat pets. But yeah, I don't just sell without analyzing. Let's go back and analyze. See, I don't even have a cat pair, but yeah, it's a bonus for you. I'm just going to add cat JPY here for now and see what we can say, uh, we can analyze here. D1, we are living, we're looking at it like this. So we've got cat. I'm going to do the same analysis that I did with NASDAQ guys. So as you can see, we are seeing cat playing with this zoom, the highest and the lowest. We have another, uh, we have another line here that they started giving us a big movement. I'm just going to put it here as well. So that's basically it. So we've got a huge, huge channel that uh, the market has been playing when it comes to CAD, guys. So the market has been playing here uh, within this uh, channel. This is where the market has been playing. As you can see, it's been bouncing, bouncing within here. So for now, what I can do is to... Um, for cat for now we wait for it come go to the top side we have a, 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 a little little um what do we call can i call it supply or demand it doesn't matter but it's a zone for me so this zone is basically strong for cat so if we see cat coming up to this zone do you see this zone guys do you see this zone it's been tested a lot of time but broken out so we saw cat going up come back test it went up came back and tested eventually they broke it out so right now i'm expecting cat to come go up from this level and go up from here before they push down when it when when, it, when the news comes guys so that's basically what i'm seeing when it comes to the cat news uh that's Cat JPY. I'll also be trading this. I'm going to sell Cat JPY hard when the news comes, guys. So this is a simple, simple strategy. It's a simple chart. I'm also going to add another trend line here just to give you uh, more comfort that this is a uh, a downward trend guys is a downward trade so with a downward trade basically uh, what do we have guys what do we have as you can see here we saw a breakout so we saw a breakout from this one it's a d1 i'm already on d1 so we, we saw a breakout for cat it moved but they haven't retested our trend line there the trend line having been retested and look where the trend line is is at that zone that i was telling you about uh, that this is a very important zone here uh, it was a very very important zone i can call it a supply but it was its demand uh, zone because the market has been going up from here so it was a demand uh, zone it became a demand here as well so, or support you can call that if you want to call it uh, let's go down to the lowest time frame for now cat is a buy but during the news we are going to sell it hard we're going to sell it hard because we saw a breakout here we want a retest to this zone they tried to retest but they couldn't retest here so yeah guys so that's basically what i'm seeing when it comes to the cat news uh, if you don't want to trade USD, make sure you trade CAD with me. So our TP will be here. This is where our TP will be because we're expecting a weak uh, CAD, guys. Weak CAD. So first, maybe we can have two TPs if you want to hold for too long. We can have our first TP here and then uh, the second TP here. So that's basically what I'm seeing when it comes to the CAD news. Cat JPY, this is what we're going to trade. I mean, that's it for me, guys. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and also smash that bell notification so that when I post a follow-up video regarding this trade, regarding the setups, you'll be the first one to be notified, guys. That's it for me. Bye-bye.